I think as, as a whole in South Carolina, we have to, number one, do a better job at attracting corporate and regional headquarters. If you think of, if you look at how many publicly traded companies are in South Carolina, there's not a lot. There's, there's not a lot. And in South Carolina is driven by small and medium-sized business. But you've got to have some of those larger organizations for those small and medium-sized businesses to support. I think we also have to continue to focus on the knowledge-based economy because that is a key to the future. Um, I think we also, um, besides just knowledge-based economy, we can't lose sight of being entrepreneurial and getting people to start ordinary businesses, whether it's a dry cleaning service, whether it is a, a payroll service, what, whatever it might be, is encourage people to be entrepreneurial because if they're entrepreneurial and they're successful, they're going to create jobs. They're going to give back to the community. Um, they're going to give back to the community through nonprofits, through time. They're going to, you know, that's going to grow the tax base more than more than anything. And I think then the other thing is we've got to, you know, um, be looking at how can we keep our dollars in South Carolina. I mean, that's the one thing that I'm I'm very passionate about. There's some commercials here in Greenville that um, some folks local businesses say buy local and we do need to buy local but local should not be contained just to Greenville it should be the state of South Carolina and what grows jobs the tax base and incomes is growing South Carolina businesses so in my mind and one of the things I'm passionate about is we as a state and, and this is just my opinion I think we need to figure out a way that we can incentivize companies, whether they're large organizations, medium-sized, small companies, regardless of the size, to do business with South Carolina-based companies. Now granted, they have to perform the same type of quality service, but if you do business with a South Carolina-based company, you know, the return is going to be much greater for the state than doing business with a company outside the state or a company that maybe is a nationally based company that has maybe just a branch office here. How do you think that the South Carolina Chamber helps in that? Well, I think that the South Carolina Chamber plays a critical role because we're here in Greenville and the Greenville Chamber is phenomenal. They do a great job supporting us here in Greenville and also being you know, an advocate for us in Columbia. We have an office in Columbia. The Columbia Chamber does a great job, but we also do business with Charleston. We also do business in Orangeburg and so we need an advocate. There's a lot of businesses in South Carolina that do business throughout the state of South Carolina. And that's where the South Carolina Chamber comes in, is to be an advocate for companies like us that do business throughout the entire state that also are right there and have the ear of the legislators to say, okay, we've got to keep our dollars in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And this is what we feel like we can do because the days of you know, membership for every chamber is, is more difficult. So as far as, um, you know, th just having people sign up just because they want to be a member of the chamber, I mean, the chambers, you know, adds a lot of value. Mm -hmm. um, and they've got to, I think, educate and show people the value that they can add. And I think the South Carolina Chamber is almost like the, the parent chamber and can really support success of the local chambers, but also can add even more value, um, you know, for for us at FGP.